project starts at the east junction of 169 and 2 in Grand Rapids, and it goes east towards Duluth. It goes a little bit past the gun road, about a quarter of a mile past the gun road. It's a total of 2.9 for a round number, 2.9 miles. What benefits are we hoping to provide by doing this project is we want to improve the ride quality. It's getting kind of rough out there. We want to extend the life of the highway. It's one of our assets, and we want to make sure that we get out there and get the repairs and extend the life of that. And we'll talk about the, the scope of the project a little bit. The main fix for the project is that we're going to mill and overlay all of the driving lanes. So we'll mill off some of the old uh, worn out, broken, and uh, delaminated blacktop, and we'll put down new blacktop. The shoulders, uh, you know, they may not be in the best shape, but we're focusing on the driving lanes, so we're going to leave the shoulders the way they are. We're going to fog seal them to uh, try to preserve them for the lifetime of the fix that we're doing right now. A project like this does trigger us to review any ADA facilities within the project limits and make sure that they're compliant with the standards. So that means that uh, a lot of existing sidewalk and pedestrian curb ramps uh, that are adjacent to Highway 2 uh, within the project limits uh, will be taken out and replaced because they just don't meet the standards uh, that are in place. On the north side of Highway 2 from La Prairie Avenue, headed west to where the sidewalk begins near the DNR building, um, we're looking at reallocating the pavement that is made up of a lot of right turn lanes for individual driveways. And we're going to make that into a, a shoulder. It's going to be a paved shoulder uh, that can be, it, it's allowable for people to walk and bike on. And uh, we have plenty of capacity out there to move uh, the, the traffic volumes that we have. So right, turn lane, right turns will be made from the right travel lane instead of having a, a separate right turn lane. That'll help us calm some of the speeds that we have. People are not uh, complying with the, the speed that's posted out there. So um, when we give that, the turns a lane to get out, it just encourages speed to go faster. Um, so we're going to try to help with uh, speed compliance by doing that. And also provide an opportunity for bikes and pets to have a, a usable shoulder. Um, we're going to improve the pedestrian crossing at La Prairie Avenue. And uh, the city has asked for and we have included in the project to have a um, flashing beacon system installed at that intersection. It's pedestrian activated and it'll flash and let uh, vehicles know that we're that pedestrians want to cross. And there will also be a curb bump out which will uh, reduce the length, uh, the distance that a pedestrian has to be exposed to traffic when they're crossing the highway. And it also gets them further out there so that they can see the traffic. So those are some of the improved the uh, scope 